Um, hi guys, uh, I'm back and I've shared a lot of videos already and uh, please go through my channel, a lot of, lot of good videos and uh, in this video I'm, I'm going to share about a small hack um, on using uh, a lookup table in Google Tag Manager. So before I go back to explaining as to what lookup table is and how you can leverage this and I want to show you a problem and the solution to that problem is using a lookup table variable in Tag Manager and, and, and fire uh, multiple conversion IDs from same tag, right? I'll tell you the problem in a while, right? So the, this is my website. I think you might all be aware. This is my website, uh, India's first 100% real-time digital marketing bootcamp. So I am running my ads through Google. Now I want to capture uh, two different actions as conversion. That means when people go to apply now form, when people go to apl apply now page and fill the form, they go to my thank you page. And whenever people go to my thank you page, I want to track that as conversion. Similarly, and when people come to get syllabus, they have another form where they give the information so that they want to download the brochure. And whoever fills this form, I want to capture this also as conversion. That means I have two conversions. So now the question is, how do I implement both of them from one single tag? Generally in Tag Manager, if you're already aware, what you got to do is you got to go and uh, <coughs> you go to Tag. Generally, this is what you do. You go to Tag and uh, you click on New Tag and you choose a, you choose a tag trigger a tag trigger and you set up that based on the condition that you want uh, the, the event to fire upon so you come to tag and here you select an option called google ads conversion right and when you come here it will generally ask you two things which is the conversion id and conversion label now if you go back to google adwords when you create two different conversions it will give you the same conversion id for both of them but the conversion label will be different for both of them right so what i'm going to do is when i when i have to track both of them i have to create two conversion tags one is ap apply now uh, apply now uh, apply now conversion and second one would be the download syllabus conversion mm -hmm. right so i have to create two tags but why should i be creating two tags is there a way where i can track both of them from one single tag yes there is a possibility but provided you do it through a variable and that variable type is a lookup table so i would take you through that so what i'm going to do is i am creating one conversion tracking here and uh, so i will go i will go to conversion tag here and here the conversion tag will remain same so imagine if my conversion tag is something like you know whatever so i give it my number right and conversion label conversion label will change for every conversion action so again you have to create two different tags to capture both of them as a conversion one for the apply now second for the get syllabus so you have to create two conversion tags but here i'm going to do only one tag or create only one tag and dynamically change the the conversion labels how i'm going to do that through a lookup table watch me do that right so conversion label what i'm going to do is i uh just close this let's go and create a variable first and then come back here so you come to variables here and when you come to variables what we do is we create one variable variable is something that holds value and uh, there are, again you might be aware user defined variables and custom defined variables so uh, custom variables so sorry uh, uh, def uh, already existing variables and user defined variables so i'm going to uh, user defined variable and here i'll say custom labels and when i come to custom labels here i come here and i select the option which reads as lookup table when i come here lookup table it is going to ask me uh, about uh, you know the, the 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 inputs that i have to give and we call it as input variable so the input variable that i'm going to give is page url page url and i will give that page url so when people come to my download brochure this is the page and when people get to this page i want to track it as conversion so i will give it as page url so and so and the output is the label the label whatever i plan for example the label is like you know i i put like whatever and the second one is i have another uh, thank you page and i want to and i want to track this as well so what i'm going to do is i know the url so i'm directly typing in the url and here i would say something like yeah so i would do this and uh, i would save this variable custom labels remember so i've given my input variable as page url and the input is this url 
right? And I gave those uh, variables which I get from Google Ads, but I did not go to Google Ads, so I randomly created one here just to show you an example. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to the tags. I'm, I'm going to create one tag called conversions, uh, conversions, okay, or add whatever. So I come here and I choose conversion tracking and it's going to ask me the ID and the ID will remain same for all the actions. So I give one ID and the conversion label is the one that I've created a while back, uh, 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 a lookup table. So, and that is, oh, where did I do that? Yeah, custom labels, right? And conversion value, if you know, uh, to pass those uh, parameters dynamically by using data layers, you can watch my other videos in my channel. I've covered all of these things in great detail, great detail. So, yeah, you might be aware that we do a digital marketing bootcamp, an extensive immersive program for people who want to make a career. So if you want to learn the skill that will set you apart, make a career, trust me, bootcamp is the only place. Institutes are not marketing companies. Remember, they can never teach you real digital marketing skills. Right, so I come here and I uh, create a trigger and now I create a trigger like uh, let's imagine when people click on growth uh, or okay, so let me create another trigger. So this trigger is um, do I already have one? No, I don't think I have it. So let me go and create one. So I create um, the trigger conversions, right? So I come here, so I put them as page view, and I put some page views, and I put um, page URL contains uh, this one, right? Now I cannot add the other page URL because it's an AND operator. So when both of them together condition is true, that's what five. So I'm not going to do this. So I will save this, right? And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my tag. Okay, I'm going to come back to my tag, and here you see, I'm going to come back to my tag. Here you have one. So I'm going to add one extra one, and this one is going to be another trigger for uh, uh, for. Thank you, page. Right. So I'm going to go here, select this page view, some page views, page URL contains. So these are the two pages where people will land after they do the actions I want them to do. Right. So yeah, here it is. And I save it. Right. Okay. As name, so I would say test. I do it. Right now, so this conversion tag will fire on these two pages, and generally, remember you have to create two tags because you have to put a unique conversion label. But what I have done is rather than creating two tags, I have only created one tag, and in place of conversion label, I have used a variable called lookup table. In that variable, I gave the input conditions as when people go to this URL, which is download, the, URL, the, the conversion label has to be this. And when people go to apply now, thank you page, the label has to be this, right? So I'm doing this, now I click on save. Once I click on save, let me go back to my preview option here. Okay, let me go back to preview. And when I click on preview, remember, the browser will load in a special environment. So you can go back to your, uh, you know, Right. Download brochure is there and I would also open that uh, page because I know the URL so I'm directly typing the URL so it's apply now. Thank you. Right. So these are my two pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh my page again and I'm also going to refresh my page here. See, now what happens? If you watch me carefully, the screen, you see ads conversions. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see conversion ads. I think this one is the one that we created, right? And when you when I click on that, you see the label 
God dynamically replaced with the one that I gave in the lookup table. So lookup table works like this. You give an input variable and the output of the input variable matches to the input, then the value will be replaced. Right? This is typically for people who work on big accounts and have like lot of tags. So you can make your Google Tag Manager simplified, more organized. So rather than having 10 different tags for all the actions of the event, for example, I want to tag 10 buttons. So rather than having 10 different tags for each of the events, you can put all of them into one single tag and one single tag will do that by using a variable and you define that variable very properly by using the, the type of variable, which is lookup table, right? Now, if I come to this page, right? So again, conversions, conversion ads also fired here. It has to fire. So let me check. Yeah, conversion ads. Right. So you see the label is this. When I come here, the label is something else. When I come here, the label is something else. They're dynamically replaced. So I'm not doing I'm not using two tags. I'm using only one tag, but those labels I've put them in the lookup table. So this is how you can make your tag manager more organized with less tags and still be more more efficient. It's an advanced strategy for people who work on big accounts and have a lot of micro events and a lot of events they 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 track. Right. So yeah. So continue to watch the other videos on my channel. They're so good. And um, I will come up with other hacks that I will put them on YouTube so that you can learn. Remember, if you're really interested in learning these hacks in real time, uh, Make Marketers Digital Marketing Immersive Bootcamp is the place. By the time you successfully complete bootcamp, trust me, you'll have experience equivalent to 35 years. That's what we guarantee. None in the country can even come close to the kind of quality we deliver. Right? Thank you so much. And I would see you soon with another video. Thank you so much. Good day.